Okay, some pump sits in a barrel like this. Uh, you'd put it at the bottom, maybe elevate it slightly so it doesn't get clogged up, right in the center. Kind of like that. Uh, the water would come in, and this bobber here, when it gets up too high, it clicks on, and the water will drain out. Okay, uh, theoretically, if water was getting into your basement, it would seep through your basement wall, come down, and go into the trench down here between the, uh, the basement wall and your floor. It would uh, then go into a corrugated pipe, plastic pipe, that travels the perimeter of the basement wall and leads into your sump pump here. Sump pump will get full or to whatever level you set it as and then get pumped out of the house through this pipe that goes down into the sump pump. Okay, uh, this is what I was talking about earlier. These pipes here, you cut holes in the, uh, the barrel for the well. And these pipes run uh, the perimeter of the basement. And the water comes through, goes into there. Uh, we're going to take a shortcut and I'll show you how it works. That orange clip is the bobber just to make it easier to see. Um, that wasn't enough, but the bobber will come up, and when it hits a certain point, it'll click on, and the water will drain out. And that's how it works. When a house is first built, there's two different methods that are usually used. A spray-on liquid rubber membrane and a waterproof membrane that comes on a roll. It goes on the outside of the foundation wall in sheets. Uh, and with these methods, water gets caught in a pipe that runs along the outside of the foundation wall. Water runs through the pipe and the pipe goes through the foundation wall into the sump pump, which then gets pumped away from the house. This is a picture of the membrane up close. Okay, here we have a few other waterproofing systems. It's more or less for after you already have a problem with water getting into your basement rather than a water prevention system. It's a paint. We have dry lock and uh, a bare basement masonry paint. Uh, they, they tell me here at Home Depot that the, the bare is better. It only takes one coat. You can apply it with a roller. Whereas with the dry lock, it takes two coats, and you have to apply it with a brush. Okay, this here is just a video that I found online. Um, it's one of the other you know, products that are out there for sealing basements similar to a paint. Um, here they want you to put a primer on the wall and floor, and then seal all the cracks before you uh, go put the top coat on. Floors and walls leak, as shown in this video, because the basement doesn't have perimeter piping or sump pump. This problem is called static pressure. The system alone will only seal out water from the basement, but water will still build up under the floor, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to add a sump pump or two to alleviate the water pressure. Most of these paints, uh, they work with a block foundation, like this, and also a poured foundation. And I cut together everything you saw tonight on a Macintosh.